and your boy back at it again. Hey, how you doing? How have you been? Yeah. Killing them flows, that lyrical sin. Try to repent to know how it ends. I get that feeling that pin gets a stroke and head on that paper. You think it's choking. You say it's sexual. I say it's hell of a man. To form for music and low bit. All of them demons been weighing me down. More to come back, they'll find around. They tell me, don't make a sound. I put them in place to call them a now. I do this with him as my witness, holding the wall. Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna watch day three of the NBA play all Chisel Diamonds commentary. Uh, if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like, turn on those post notifications, comment down below different ideas and videos that you want me to react to, and we're gonna get into this thing. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I got bows and I'm already so I'm probably gonna be in this video. Not a lot, but probably. Put this on full screen, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for day three live from the bubble in Orlando, Florida in your 2020 NBA playoffs game ah. highlight commentary. Hey, we start things lit. off with the reigning defending undisputed champion Toronto Baby Dinosaurs taking on the Brooklyn We Go Hard, but we about to get swept next. Unlike mm -hmm. game one, Brooklyn wouldn't come out Ooh, abysmal as they jump out to a double-digit lead early. Even Afro Thunder was putting points hey. on the board. Brooklyn's own discount Bob Ross would put in Bow. a three. But no matter how often Brooklyn tried to separate, Toronto was on their ass like a pair of underwear. They could not escape them. This game was neck and neck like a name of a fellatio company. Kyle Lowry would make it a one-point game with 20 seconds left, but Brooklyn would go into halftime with a three-point lead. As we'd into the second half, Brooklyn would look to separate once again like an abused husband, but Toronto, much like society, would refuse to give them any sympathy. As they'd call on discount clearance Damn. aisle Drake, Fred Van Fleet, to go to work, and he would score 10 wow. consecutive points for the Raptors Boy, and bring them out. right back into this it. game. Brooklyn would go on yet another hey. mini run and go Pop. up by seven, but Holiday Sale, Discount, Clearance, <laughs> Isle Drake, Fred Van Vliet <laughs> would go to work and make no. plays all over the court, whether it's making threes himself, dishing it inside, inbounding for assists. This brother was making sure that Toronto was not out of this Boy, game. Brooklyn tried hey. their best not to relinquish the lead, but much like Thanos would say, it's inevitable. And once Toronto took the lead, they went on an 8-0 no. run, made Brooklyn Ooh, look like they forgot how to play basketball. Once again, Again, late in the fourth quarter, Brooklyn Bam. would have to grab their favorite condiment and try to play catch-up as they'd cut their deficit to three. But once again, Toronto would go up by eight. Brooklyn would connect on a three-point shot and make it a hey, six-point game with a minute left to play. Holiday uh -uh. sale, everything must and go. Discount Pull clearance, up. Al Drake oh, with an opportunity to ice the game. Uh. Brooklyn must have taken two pills of Viagra because they refused to go Man. down easily. 15 seconds remain. Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo, clitoris alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo, woo. Joe Harris tries to get the ball to Garrett Temple, but he's got butter fingers. He can't no. recover the basketball. It's stolen no. by Powell, and the dunk's going to put the game away. I cannot believe it. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Toronto goes up 2-0. Next up, the Utah Jazz look well. to even up the series oh, yeah. against the Denver it's Nuggets. Good. Joe Ingles looks like the janitors that Fairweather fans claim played in the NBA from the 1970s and backwards. And if you must know, Donovan Mitchell is still cooking the Nuggets. But just in case you didn't forget, Jokic got the international baskets. If somebody don't guard this receding hairline, man, he's no <laughs> Heath Ledger or Joaquin Phoenix, but this joke is pretty good. Did I mention things are extremely easy for Donovan Mitchell? Homie just walked to the paint. Jokic's yeah. jump shot got more arch than an escort yeah. harlot at 4 a.m. Why would so they let Jordan Clarkson shoot? Oh, shit, he made it. But Denver would showcase their depth because MJP would put in a three, Jamal Murray would walk his <laughs> way to the paint, and Paul Millsap would bully his way to a basket. But their lead wouldn't last for long because Jordan Clarkson would tie up the game, and then Donovan Mitchell on a lob would give them the lead. Hey. Rudy Gobert moves slower than the brains of children on a short bus. And can somebody tell me who turned up Jordan Clarkson's attributes on the 30 seconds left to go in the first half? <laughs> Following the 24 second shot clock violation, Shit. Rudy Gobert would get a put back and put the Jazz up 13 going into halftime. And they'd pick up right where they left off. 
However, this time, Utah would activate their ace in the hole as Donovan Dang. Mitchell would start to get going. He only scored nine points in Dang. the first half, but everything that he touched in the third quarter would turn into gold. Much like determined Dang. seaman considered the Denver Nuggets <laughs> a popped condom because he could not be detained at all. Look at the magnificent Bro. 360 pass. Then look at the that vision. Skip no Bayless passes across the entire damn court for Dang. the assist. Can somebody tell me why Jordan Clarkson is still allowed to score? Donovan Mitchell absolutely erupted Dang. for 21 points in the third quarter alone could not be stopped and it didn't matter that Jamal Murray scored 10 in the third two years ago when we saw Jordan Clarkson in the postseason all he did was choke but these past two games homie been on fire Utah Dang. dominated the second half and they led by Dang. as much as 31 points as they'd walk away with a 19 point victory <laughs> over the Denver Nuggets and even up the series Just at one apiece hey. game three of the afternoon the Boston Shillelagh Leprechauns take on the Philadelphia 25 times three multiplied by zero plus seven 76s. Philly would come out of the gate in the first quarter strong. Joel Dang. Embiid with an and one. Then Josh Richardson would put in a three. Well, Can't Philly forget about sad. our favorite slave name. Tobias. And Philly would maintain a double-digit lead damn near the entire first quarter. Joel Embiid Dang. was firing on all cylinders, but then back the other Dang. way, Jason Tatum decided it's time to take over. Everybody talk about Logo. Tatum. What about Logo? Tatum. <laughs> Tatum. Damn, Philly lost the lead faster than Barney Go. Oh, man. Yo. ECS one, two, three. But if y'all not going to teach me how to do my homework, Draw. bro, I don't want to see that. Gumble fails at sobriety test, but Embiid wouldn't quit just yet. Look at the footwork inside. Delay, However, though. did it matter? No, nope. absolutely not. Kemba Walker would and begin to mouth. catch fire in the second what? quarter, let his Look nuts hang uh. and rub his nutsack all over the goddamn Philadelphia uh. 76ers. As we'd enter the second half, it appears that Philly oh, forgot how to play basketball. Somebody unplugged their controller or they completely lost their Wi-Fi connection because Boston was scoring left and right on damn near every single possession. You could have dug up Wilt Chamberlain bro rolled his casket onto the court, and he could have scored 20 points on this Philly defense. Bill this Russell tough. not even dead, and he could walk on the court and give you 15 and 20. Probably they too. came out in the second half and got cooked like a goddamn cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth quarter, Jason Taylor would make sure that Philly's participating in the Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy Bang. necrophilia challenge because they may be dead, but he made sure they were still getting fucked as they would go down as much as 28 Jesus. goddamn mm. points. It Ooh, got so bad ridiculous. to the point that Brad Stevens said, fuck it, let's put Taco in the game. And Taco went to work and got a bass. Take the hell out of love it. It's over, oh, brother. Snap. If Philly continues to play like this, you might as well call Consuela because it's fixing to be a sweep. Last but not least, the Dallas Mavericks look to even up the series against the Los Angeles Clippers. That's for ejecting me, pussy. Luka really makes the NBA look like they ain't shit. He just effortlessly gets baskets. It doesn't make sense hey. on everybody. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. Here comes the reigning defending <laughs> finals MVP. Uh -huh. He can shoot threes as well. What does Teddy Ursa evolve into? Ursa Rang! But the Clippers would take a trip to Magic City because Lou Williams is still getting buckets. The Clippers out here looking like the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl because they can't stop the Giants. In fact, tonight, they simply could not stop the international baskets of Luka Doncic. This man is killing them from three inside everywhere. Boban would say, Ime Naslavivo, Rosetta Stone, Serbian motherfucker. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. You can't stop Boban. He's oh, killing them. No. Down by 15, the Clippers would look to start no. a comeback. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The most Reggie of Jacksons would connect on a three. But KP6 ain't forget about that bullshit ejection at all. Reggie Jackson would once hey, again yo, say, right no. back at you, pussy. Lou Williams would pass out dimes like like he passes one in the pretty. strip club, but Luca refuses to let the Clippers inside five points. Mans is doing everything in his power to make their lives a living hell. They can't guard him either. We into the mm -hmm. second half. Here comes Kawhi inside. I could have swore you had to put the ball on the ground after you get blocked. K Are you ready to be heard? Learn music production online at the Los Angeles Recording School, a division of the Los Angeles. AP6 stays in the mix with a three from Bang. outside, and then Tim Hardaway Jr. Bang. puts in one of his own. Bang. Hey, look, Playoff P made an appearance. Bang. Uh -huh. <laughs> I swear, the Morris twins really play the exact same game. Can't forget about yeah, Seth Curry. Twins, you know that bro. jump shot's wetter than a song by Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. He'd score seven consecutive points by his goddamn self. Dallas would ah. capitalize on the block ah. and the lead is back to double digits. Oh, Kawhi being a bully. Oh, I must have forgot. What does Teddy Ursa evolve into? 
Dallas looking to take the Kawhi dead Namekki in into the funeral like home because they want to put the nail in the coffin, but the Clippers would refuse to quit. Hit him on top. Use rapid spin. Oh. <laughs> Girl, give me the box. Don't be so, so pretty, cold. Bro. Let me see that finger roll. Seth Curry and the Dallas Mavericks Dang. refusing to relent despite the fact that Kawhi would Kawhi. cut their deficit to Dang. 10, but that's as close as they would come as Luka would put the game on ice as Dallas would walk away with a 13-point victory boys. and even up the series at one apiece. As the Brooklyn Nets, Denver Nuggets, Philadelphia 76ers, and Los Angeles Clippers would take out their Metro cards. And to get aboard the L Tray. What, son? Yeah. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, like I said in the beginning, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, leave a like, turn on those post notifications, uh, comment down below different ideas and videos that you want to see on the channel. And this has been it for this edition of the Soul Exchange. We are